Hello and welcome uh, to the next video and in this video we will be looking at uh, the maths and the intuition uh, for support uh, vector uh, machine. This video is in two parts. In the first part I will be doing uh, the intuition of the hyperplane. What is a hyperplane and uh, why it matters and in the second uh, part of the video we will use those general properties and intuitions we, which you have derived uh, for the hyperplane and we will use it um, uh, in support uh, vector machine because as you know you will see that in, in support vector machine that's the margin uh, separator uh, we talk about. So let's get started about what is a hyperplane and its maths. All right. So uh, as you can see here um, in uh, let's consider first in uh, two dimension and we know in geometry we write uh, the equation of a straight line uh, in two dimension is y is equal to mx plus c. Now this form of the equation of straight line um, is known to all of us. There was another form uh, which you had studied um, uh, in high school is this generalized form of a straight line which is ax plus by is equal to c uh, equal to zero and we can prove it uh, saying that I know you know if we uh, have um, a point which is minus c by b and minus a by b respectively uh, this is same as uh, y is equal to mx plus c. The two forms uh, are the same. Okay, So let's try to prove that a very sm small intuition rather than a proof. So uh, this is my generalized form of uh, the straight line right and I can rearrange it and write uh, by is equal to c minus ax and then if I, uh, if I divide both sides by b just to take this b out and I divide uh, both sides by uh, b and you, you can see that this is uh, equivalent to y is equal to uh, c plus uh, mx okay where uh, your c uh, this is your c part and this is your m part right and we know that you know if this is the equation your y intercept is the c and m is uh, the slope which is uh, tan of uh, theta. Now we write this equation generalized form of a straight line in two dimension Similarly, we can translate this in three dimensions now. Uh, we can rewrite uh, the dimension. And now I'm no more ri writing um, uh, as, you know, A uh, uh, and C. I'm not writing A, C and B, uh, which are uh, the terms we used in Cartesian um, coordinates. Rather, since we'll be eventually looking um, at uh, machine learning, we, I would write uh, it as, you know, W0, W1, W2. Okay, so in three dimension, we can write the same equation as uh, w1x1 plus w2x2 plus some constant uh, is equal to 0 and uh, this is a this is the same representation uh, of the equation of a straight line but in three dimension and this is also the equation of a uh, plane so what could we conclude from this point that when you have this equation uh, in two dimension we have the equation of line and when we do the same equation uh, in three dimension we have the equation of a plane which is this one this one is the equation of a plane and similarly if we populate it to n dimension we have a hyperplane so what is hyperplane hyperplane is nothing but a plane uh, in um, uh, multiple dimension in uh, n dimension and plane is always in 3d hyperplane is in n dimensions multiple dimensions correct now we have done 2D and 3D, so let's go and try to see how it spans out uh, in the n uh, dimensions. So in n dimension, uh, we can rewrite the same equation as W0, which is the constant, and then uh, the product of the W and the X is equal to zero. So which is W1, X1, W2, X2, continue till W and Xn is equal to zero. It's the same generalized form, but now I'm writing it for the n dimensions. Are you with me? Okay, which so I can rewrite this equation. I can rearrange and write w0 uh, plus sigma w1 uh, x x1 right where i is equal to 1 to n. So that's the generalized uh, form of the equation uh, which we can uh, rewrite right. And then if I have to write it uh, from algebra to uh, vector notation, I can write it in the same way, which is w0 but because w0 is the constant which is there and plus uh, w1 w2 dot dot wn multiplied uh, with x1 uh, xn uh, x1 x2 to uh, x1 which is uh, this form um, of in vector notation right 
and this is the same as writing um, w0 plus w transpose x because if w transpose is another way of writing this uh, matrix right so instead of writing w1 to w2 in this format we write it in the transpose uh, format so this is the same as writing in this so uh, in n dimension we can generalize uh, the equation and say that you know in n dimension we can define a plane okay this is the plane in uh, n dimension so this symbol this symbol uh, is the symbol of plane in n dimension so this is the symbol of plane in uh, n dimension and we can write that a plane in n dimension is w0 plus w transpose uh, into uh, x and then as a special case if w0 goes uh, is 0 which means if my plane is always passing through the um, origin I can write that the generalized form of uh, the equation of the plane is um, W transpose X is equal to 0. Here what I am doing, I am just making it pass to the origin and this is the case when W0 is equal to 0. This is the case when W0 is a 0 always. Alright. Now, uh, since we know that you know the equation of a plane in uh, n dimension is W transpose X uh, is equal to 0. We can also prove that, that the angle between them, if these two are uh, two vectors, the angle between them would be always 90 degree, like this, okay. How? Because we can take um, uh, the norm of W and uh, X, so when you are taking uh, the norm, you just take only the magnitude and uh, not uh, the direction. I repeat, you just take the magnitude, you don't uh, take the direction. And the angle becomes um, 90 because uh, cos, because this angle as you know from um, uh, physics, right, if there are two vectors, the, you know, and if you take the direction, um, uh, if you take the magnitude, it would be the uh, uh, dot product into their uh, quotient, uh, cos, right. So your angle becomes um, um, 90 degree because your cos of 90 is equal to 0 and we were all, always uh, formulating uh, it with 0. One way to understand is by looking at the vector uh, representation. So here uh, you are saying that you know I have a plane phi and I have the absolute va values of x1, x2, x3 which are uh, represented uh, by the norm of x1, x2, x3. So this this sign uh, is the norm of that particular uh, vector, right? So if you have norm, you just have the magnitude. There is no direction. The direction from the vector is removed. So the direction is removed and that's the re reason you don't have an arrow. Whereas here, see if I don't remove the norm, if I have the x1, x2, x3, then I have the direction as well as the magnitude uh, in, in phi. Similarly, we take the norm of uh, w, correct? So what do we conclude? We can conclude that, you know, um, if uh, w is perpendicular to the hyperplane, if w is perpendicular to the hyperplane, where uh, we have um, uh, x1 to xn always lying on the plane, uh, then the angle between uh, them is 90 degree and it would be 0. So, if w is perpendicular to all points in the hyperplane uh, pi of n, right? So, all the points um, uh, that are there um, are perpendicular. All the points that are there on uh, pi are perpendicular uh, to w, which is shown by uh, this uh, diagram. So, this is the part uh, one of the uh, derivation in which you need to know that when you are deriving uh, the equation of an SVM in n dimension, you eventually lead up with a plane. So, if this my red marker is the plane, I will have the w uh, vector uh, sitting uh, perpendicular uh, to each other for instances where w transpose x uh, is equal to 0 and that is always the generalized form um, of the uh, equation. So this is the f uh, first part and then I'll catch up with you in the second part uh, of the video in which um, uh, we'll use uh, this notation to say that you know we can use it as a separator and say that the point which lies on top of it uh, is positive and uh, the point which lies below it um, uh, is uh, negative and in the third part we'll look about uh, a uh, we'll look into the content trick also this is a three part video uh, coming up Thank you so much and um, do like this video, uh, share uh, and subscribe 
and do check out uh, the description section for interesting announcements and updates on the work uh, we are doing thank you so much